Hello, fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today to unbox my two latest Diamond Art Club diamond painting purchases, Marvin the Martian and Daffy Duck, both from their recent Looney Tunes release. I'm just going to jump in. I'm going to get both of these open so that I can work on them. I'm hoping that they'll both be pretty quick to work up because I have lots of projects I want to get done. So I'm going to start with uh, Daffy Duck here. I find it interesting that Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote are on here. I don't remember them being any of the releases, so that's interesting. All right, so this says nine colors, including one AB. Okay, so we have our toolkit. Let's see what's in here. This is one of their newer ones, so it should have all the fancy stuff in there, right? If I can get it out. All right, let's see if I got everything out of here. Okay, so we have a cute little Kawaii bunny cover minder. That's super cute. I might hang on to that one. We've got a tray with a little stopper. Interesting, this is not the clear sparkly ones. This is just a white one. And then we have a bag of baggies. We have, of course, our glittery blue pen with the single placer. And then we have a three and a six placer along with a blue scrunchie, the cover minder, some heart-shaped wax, and then our washi tape. Pretty washi tape. All right, so that's this tool kit. Let me set that out of the way. And then of course we have our uh, sticker here for our log book that I will definitely be putting in there. And then we have our canvases. I actually hadn't intended to do Daffy Duck. My intention was to kind of gift him on at some point, but I have some other things that I'm working on and actually this will work well for what I want to do for the project I want to do. So since they're rounds, they won't take me very long and they're not very big. So I'm going to try and do both of them. We'll see if I can get them both finished this month. All right. So 13 by 15, it says. We've got our instructions here, and then we've got our large sticker, and then nine colors, including one AB, and of course, tons of black. Oof, that's something I didn't consider. There's gonna be a lot of black in this, isn't there? Hmm. All right, well, that just means I can practice my multi-placing, right? It's not a huge painting. Oh, this is way less black than I was worried about. So it says 13 by 15 inches or 32.8 by 38. So let's measure. So it is a 16th under 13 or maybe right at 13. We all know from my framing video that this is a little off. Uh, 30, I'm getting, yeah, 32.8 millimeters. And then this way it is 15. 15, a smidge under 15, yeah, not 38 centimeters. I'm getting 37.8 maybe, and a quarter or an eighth under 15, but close enough, it's all good. We do have our schematic on both sides with our DMC codes, so that's good. It's Diamond Art Club, the symbols are nice and clear. Gotta say, even with the rounds, so happy that these guide circles have gone to that almost you can't, almost can't see the gray. If I bring it up close, I don't know if you can see here around on his tongue, those very, very faint gray circles. So much better than the old way that they used to do it. Oh, you can see them better here on the white. There's little circles, but they've made them much less noticeable. So they're much easier to hide if you don't place your drills perfectly, which I don't, so. All right, let's get into our drills and see what we've got. Okay, so let's see what we've got in here. Gosh, this is so much less drills than I'm used to. Okay, so we've got some red. We've got some kind of salmon colored, some gray, some kind of dark orange, a little bit of white, a dark purple, and then we've got this lighter purple. So two bags of this lighter purple. 
Ooh, that's a very pretty AB. Is that what you outline his beak with? 131, no. Oh, that is his entire beak. Oh, wow. That doesn't look like enough drills, but I'm assuming it will be. And then two bags of 310. So, yeah, I'm actually much less intimidated by that than I thought I would be. Uh, I've done a kit with 11 bags of 310, so two bags is nothing. Yeah, I'm actually super happy with this. Okay, let me clear off Daffy and we'll get to Marvin. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get into Marvin and see what he looks like. This is the one I'm so excited about. Oh, you guys, I can't. You know, I saw their introduction of the Marvel ones. And while I have a nephew who is Marvel crazy, I was saved. His favorite is Spider-Man. So I was so afraid they were going to have a Spider-Man and I'd have to get it for him. He's also the nephew that loves SpongeBob. And I still haven't done that one either. So I didn't want to put myself even further behind. All right, so same sort of kit. We've got that tray here, the non-glitter tray with the stopper. We've got a bag of baggies. We've got our heart-shaped wax. We've got a scrunchie. We've got, oh, a very pretty flower cover minder. We've got our blue glitter pen with our single tip, our three and our six placer. And then of course we've got some pretty purple washi tape. That might actually work better with Daffy Duck since there's so much purple with him. We'll have to see. All right, there's the tool kit. Then we've got our Marvin the Martian sticker. So excited for this one. I, I have stopped collecting as many things of him. You know, I told you guys I got rid of a bunch of stuff when we moved, but he's still my favorite character. So, Let's get him unrolled here. Yeah, super happy that I, I dodged a bullet with Spider-Man. He may come out at a later date, but hopefully by then I will have a be in a better place to maybe take on another project and or have gotten SpongeBob done so that I can focus on something else. So instructions, don't need those. We've got our sticker here. He has 11 colors and one AB. So let's see what he looks like. And here he is. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. This one's going to be so much fun and way less black than I thought it would be. In fact, yellow and green, I'm probably what I'm going to get sick of. So this one is also 13 by 15, 32.8 by 38. So let's measure. It is right at 13 and 33 is what I'm getting. And then this way it is right at 15 and 38. Interesting. I don't know if you can see the little guide circles on the yellow here. They're much more apparent than everywhere else. So the AB is his little top of his little helmet here. And then the shadows off to the side. It's a diamond art club, so I'm sure it's going to be nice and sticky. Yep. And yeah, let's dive into the, the drills and see what we get. Okay. Oh, I'm already excited just seeing all of these colors. I can't wait to dive into these. I'm almost finished with my current project, so these will probably be my next ones, even though that wasn't what I was planning, but. All right, so we've got a little bit of brown here. Where is that gonna go? T, where is there a T? Oh, it's the outlines of his little helmet up here, okay. Then some dark red, some light yellow, some gray, some dark green. Ooh, there's our AB which is, again, like I said, the shadows and then his helmet. Red, white, only one bag of black, and then we've got two bags of the yellow, which is the background color, and two bags of green, which is his helmet. Oh, gonna have so much fun with this one. Honestly, when I got it, I was like, I've told myself for so long that if they ever did Marvin of the Jetsons that I would buy it, that I was like, I've gotta have it. And then after I bought it, I was like, oh, do I really want it? I've not been collecting Marvin as much as I used to. Where am I going to put it? I'm rapidly running out of room. And then I decided, you know what? One of the things I was like is, oh, I don't really have room on my walls, blah, blah, blah. Where am I going to put all these diamond paintings? And I finally decided, you know what? Again, this year is all about diamond painting things that make me happy. And this one makes me happy. 
I was having a little bit of buyer's remorse when I purchased it, but now that I've opened it, I'm super happy that I got it because I'm going to have so much fun doing it. I'm even going to enjoy doing the Daffy, which I really hadn't anticipated doing. And I'm just super excited about getting to do both of them because how cool are they? Little, you know, blast from my past childhood. Yeah, maybe this will be motivation for me to get the one done for my nephew because how happy these are making me. If I can give that to him, that would be awesome. So yeah, I'm going to get these two done, finish up the other project I'm currently working on, and maybe that will spur me on to SpongeBob. We'll see. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.